Encore Dance Troupe represents the heart of the Cambodian community in Lowell. And that community makes up about a fifth of the city's population, one of the largest in the country. Encore was founded by a group of refugees 36 years ago to preserve a culture almost lost by an oppressive regime. And today we welcome Tim Tu. He's one of the co-founders of the Encore Dance Troupe. And Bora Chimran, executive director of the dance troupe. Welcome to you both. Tim, tell us briefly about the, the start of this. Yes, we started in uh, 1984, which is that be beginning when I, first time when I moved to Lowell, which is only uh, 10 families in Lowell. So we get together, look like we just want to make sure that uh, the dance and culture still connect to the country that where they belong. Because look like uh, when we step out to the, uh, the country, we're not going to go back. Only thing that we can remember that is only the art and dance and culture to connect and also to share with the next generation to remember that. And it's a way of connecting. And Bora, you know, this is a multi-generational effort. Yes. Uh, students who started in the program now have children in the program, as I understand it. What brings families back, or is it that they just don't leave? <laughs> Well, um, it's twofold. They just uh -huh. don't leave. And it's because we, inv we provide an environment where they feel safe, they feel secure, and they are connected to the arts and cultures of their homeland, of their parents' homeland. You know, they, they have to flee their homeland. Now they are in a new environment. And thanks to our instructors, master instructors, our founders, who are still very much involved in um, the community and involved with the organizations, we value each and every one of our dancers that come through the door. We provide all kinds of services for them in addition to just uh, dance alone. Um, Uncle Dance Troupe has arts, music, language, culture uh, embedded in our curriculum, embedded in our core and our mission. Mm -hmm. um, and I be truly believe that it's the family environment that keeps them coming back. Mm -hmm. When I say family environment, we have sisters that have, sisters and brothers that have been with the organization for 10, 15 years, and one of them is still a staff member with us, and he will continue to be a staff member with us. We have mothers and daughters that are performing together currently now mm -hmm. because they, like I said, they value that connection to one another as a family and value connection to the community. And I think we owe to the community so much, and that's why we continue. And we, I use the term transform. Mm -hmm. We are transforming. We provide our youth with a uh, connection and a journey where they can become uh, junior instructors, instructors, and eventually become masters instructors. It sounds very close to the heart. Tim, yes. share with us some of the details of what goes into putting on a performance. I mean, we see some very intricate costumes, uh, and the students have must r really spend lots of hours rehearsing. Yes, there is a, a minimum as to put the costume for one dance. But the dance probably like the last probably like nine to ten minutes long. But backstage look like we had to put like at least four hours mm. to do that. So the uh, the dancer sometimes is it's dancers here trained, not like uh, dancer in Cambodia is kind of have a hard time with that. So we had to make sure that we not put something really uh, something that's easy for them to you know, undress it to go to the bathroom. So we go four hours before mm -hmm. that's on stage. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure they make a lot easy, but there is involved with a lot of time and also the effort to that. So let them, the patient and that. Like I just spoke uh, to uh, Bora on the way back to here to say, make sure we not order that the crown had to be the heavy one, the metal mm -hmm. one, had to be like light one, make mm -hmm. a fabric so they can make so it's easy, can run around and do that. Because mm -hmm. kid here, they just want to do that. So over there, they had to be, make sure after the costume put on, you had to be stay still until at least a few hours. Uh, Bora, we're almost out of time. I want to ask you very quickly. You're known for art and culture, but you're in the process of evolving the organization to offer more. Just tell us quickly about that. Sure. Um, it's very important that we engage our young people to really focus on looking at the um, society and what's happening in um, society. So we are looking at racial justice issues, social justice issues. We are doing more of DEI, DEI within our organization as well. But we are offering professional development. Um, our goal, our ultimate goal, is to have a dance academy. Mm -hmm. And that is inclusive to everyone in the community, not just uh, Cambodian that are coming through our doors now, but to everyone that wants to learn dance, arts, and culture. A big undertaking, yes. but I'm sure you will reach your goal. Yes. Tim and Bora, thank you uh, for joining us. We want everybody to know that Encore's anniversary gala will be held on May 19th in Lowell, and you can find information about tickets on our website at wcvb.com.